Let's go tour the 2018 Pleasure Way Lexor FL. Before we get started with today's review, I'd like to ask that you please consider subscribing. It's easy. Just hit the subscribe button and click the little bell and you'll be notified when new reviews like this become available. The 2018 Pleasure Way Lexor FL was just introduced and the FL stands for Front Lounge. This layout is really special and this van is really special. All the things and all the high-end components that you would find on their most expensive RVs, you're also going to find in the Lexor, and you're going to find it for tens of thousands of dollars less. So without further ado, let's go tour the 2018 Pleasure Way Lexor FL. I am inside of a 2018 Pleasure Way Lexor, but not just any Pleasure Way Lexor. This is the Pleasure Way Lexor FL. And if you notice, I am sitting in a front lounge. That is what the FL stands for. Now, this particular floor plan is very difficult to find. There are only a few of these I've been able to find across the whole of North America. But I found one here and I want to do a review of it today. I love the Luxor TS. I've done a review of it. You can see the review. I think it's such a great value for the money. You get a high, high quality pleasure way at a very good price. But this FL takes things to a different level. Not only can both the cab seats swivel forward and you've got this table up here turning this into a livable area in a 20 foot van. But look at this, I've got two outlets over here, AC, and two USB ports, nicely lit up. And I can flip this up, turn my seat around, and I have got a really cool little desktop work area here for the driver. It's really special and it's really cool. I, I love this. Now what they did to accommodate this in the FL is normally there would be that closet here in the TS where you had a couple drawers at the bottom and you could store the tabletop and the two slats needed to make up the bed and it was a wardrobe closet. So they took that out and they moved that to the back. We'll take a look at it when we go look at the lounge. But what they gave me instead was a whole new part of the van where I can live. This is living area. And it's pretty incredible. I really like this and it's usable. You know, unlike some other vans where you might have a flimsy flip out table that comes out from the kitchen or something like this, this is actually really nice. And I can take this down when I don't need it. I can pop this up when I do need it. I'm really liking this. I think this is super cool. The rest of the FL is laid out exactly the same as the TS model. So you have your galley along the passenger side. And as you can see, it's all open all the way back to the back. You have your bathroom over here. Now missing here is the closet that would normally be here. And the closet's been moved back here. And then in the rear, you have your sofa, which turns into either twin beds or one large queen size bed. You're now standing in the lounge of the 2018 Lexer FL. You see you have panoramic views all the way around from the windows, gorgeous. You have seating for five around a table, which is exactly where you would be standing. We put the table right there. This has the, the lounge in the beautiful pewter gray. I, I like it. It's a nice kind of muted color, kind of a neutral color, a little bit of a blue tint to it but really gorgeous nonetheless. Complements these beautiful solid maple wood doors, which are all handcrafted by Pleasure Ways craftsmen. Uh, it complements it beautifully, I think. And then you have this beautiful suede. Look at, isn't this nice? 
even up along this wall here, this beautiful suede, which also matches the pewter color of the couch. It's just really, really nice looking. Uh, I think they've done an excellent job. Now the lounge is pretty much the same as the Lexor TS. The only difference is you have this cabinet here over half of the ottoman. This space normally would have been up front, forward of the bathroom, but because they put the front lounge in to the FL, they moved that cabinet back here and put it here. So you have a nice deep closet. You can store your slats here for the bed inside the closet. <clears throat> but other than that, it's exactly the same dimensions and layouts as the lounge in the TS. But compared to the Ascent, the Lexor FL's lounge is a lot larger. The couch is wider. And also you can tell from the cushions here, they're, you're, they're also longer. So that means that when you actually make up the bed, you're gonna have a much bigger bed than you have in the ascent, meaningfully bigger. Meaning if you're taller, if you're six foot tall, you're going to fit much more comfortably in the Lexor than you are in the ascent. I'm fine because I'm 5'10", so I can sleep just fine in the ascent. But that's something I want you to think about if you are a taller person looking at an RV and you're considering the pleasure way lines and maybe you're trying to decide between the Ascent and the Lexor, go check out the beds. The bed in the Lexor TS and in the FL is much larger, and uh, it's a, I think it's a big selling point. Now, one thing to consider, and this is just something about the ProMaster line, is if you notice, if you look at the floor, the floor has a step up there in the front lounge, and then it goes down a few inches, and then right here, it comes back up again. And that's because this is front wheel drive. And so we don't have to have the drivetrain coming down through the center of the van here. So they lower the floor, but then when they come back to where you're at, exactly where you're at, that's the axle for the rear wheel. So they have to raise it back up again. I believe that's what's happening. So unlike the Ascent, which is uh, rear wheel drive, uh, and the floor is completely level on the Ascent, all the way from the rear doors, all the way to the front windshield, it's completely flat. Uh, you do have a couple steps. Now, I only bring this up because some people don't think about this stuff, but you're in a small space, and you know if you're having to get out of bed at night, you don't want to be stumbling over a two or three inch little step like this. Also, the egress and ingress from the cab because of this overhang and then the step and then the other step, it's just, I want you guys to think about that stuff. Move around inside the van See if you can move around easily inside the van without tripping or hitting your head or bumping into things because you're going to be living in a small space a long time and those little bumps and head bumps and things like that will add up to annoyances for you later. Trust me, I, I've made that mistake. So uh, just be aware of that. Look at this gorgeous bathroom inside this 20 foot van. I wish I had this bathroom in my ascent. I fell in love with this bathroom when I first saw it, and it almost won me over over the ascent. I, I just like the residential feel of the Corian countertop over here and a stainless steel sink. I have a plastic sink in mine, even though my van is uh, much more expensive. And you've got, you can't see them. There's two AC outlets over here. Man, this is nice. The window's much bigger. It doesn't open, but it's a nice big window. This is a, a real, and it's a medicine cabinet. I don't have a medicine cabinet. So think about these things with the nice rails here to keep things in. They have a nice residential style towel holder here. Keep in mind, this van is an MSRP. It's 20 some thousand dollars less than my Ascent. And you get so much more in some respects. This bathroom is one of those things where it's such a nice bathroom. This is basically the same bathroom as the on the $150,000 Pleasure Way Plateau. Got storage underneath the sink. Really nice. Positive latching. This is a beautiful bathroom. Really, really nice. I might, I might have to trade mine in. I don't know. <laughs> Gorgeous. The galley on the 2018 Lexor FL is exactly the same as the galley on the TS. So you have your two burner stove here. 
with a nice backsplash you, you put it up and it prevents it from splashing against the window you have your sink and then you have this is new for 2018 this residential faucet which is higher mine sits down lower and uh, the higher faucet's better because when you're using the sink you're not constantly banging into this like my ascent and on the plateau fl i believe the microwave's above the refrigerator here they moved it underneath the stove and they did that because for two reasons one is because the counter is deeper here, if you notice the counter top goes out at an angle, it's deeper where the microwave is and they can put a convection microwave in. So that's very nice. So you can bake and brown and roast inside of that microwave. It's like having an electric oven inside of your RV. And the second thing that allows you to do is it lets you put in a larger refrigerator. So you can see here, this is the five cubic foot refrigerator in the Lexor FL. Now this is a three-way refrigerator, so it runs off of DC, AC, and it runs off of propane, but it's not automatic like the Ascent. So the Ascent will automatically and intelligently switch between those, you never have to worry about it. Uh, so if you're driving the van down the highway, it'll be using the chassis to charge, uh, to cool the refrigerator. If you plug into shore power, it'll switch automatically to shore power, and then in between it'll use propane. This doesn't. You have to manually switch it up here. So you have to remember to do that. You also have to manually ignite it over here. But it is a larger refrigerator. It's five cubic feet versus mine, which is three and a half cubic feet. Putting the microwave uh, in underneath the stove means that you don't get as much storage inside the kitchen. So surprisingly, even though the ascent is smaller than this, I have a lot more storage drawer space in the kitchen. I've got three drawers here under the stove where they've got one deep one. They do have this cabinet over here, which is nice, but uh, you can maybe fit a trash can under there. Now the galley here on the FL is a little bit different from the galley on the TS. If you remember, the galley on the TS comes out a little bit more here. Because I have the lounge, as you can see over here with the raised floor that sticks out about another foot, I had to take a foot off of the galley here. So the galley normally would come out to here and I'd have a lot more counter space. Now on the FL, I have to sacrifice that to make room for the front lounge. I also don't have a flip up counter here like I do on my Ascent. So the counter, the counter is basically the same as on my Ascent, but I don't have a flip up counter here. But still, it's a good size galley. I love the Corian, the quality of the Corian from Pleasure Way. This is something you need to look at when you're looking at different RVs. A lot of manufacturers will say they use Corian and they do. <clears throat> the question is how much time do they put into polishing the Corian to really give it that deep luster and the shine? And you see here with Pleasure Way, this is just beautiful, beautiful Corian. Now, the other thing I really like about the Lexor is Look at this, I love, look how wide open this door is. This is incredible. Uh, you got a big entry space, a big wide open door. Super cool. Really, really nice. Some of the nice features here, look at the curved cabinetry. Just beautifully done. As you can see down here, this is the new multi color screen touch color screen control center that pleasure way is putting in across all of their models now what i really like about this is when you get into a small van like this having a lot of little things like this little individual controls for your components can start to really clutter up your van it's different if you're in a really big class a and you can kind of spread them around or you can shove them all in some cabinet because you have space for that but on a little van like this, the less that you can have these kind of controls cluttered everywhere, like above the door and stuff like that, the cleaner it's gonna look. Just think about in your home, you wouldn't necessarily wanna see all of the controls for all the electrical systems in your house just around you all the time. You'd like to have them away and get at them when you need them. So that's what these really nice color touch panels do. They've been integrating more and more of the components into them. So for instance, 
This year, as compared to last year, like on my Ascent, you have the air conditioner and the heater both integrated into the touch control panel. That means that's one other component gone. I don't have a separate thermostat. This is new for 2018. This is the fantastic fan, but this is automatic now, and it has a rain sensor, so if it starts to rain, it'll close automatically. I wish I had that on my Ascent because I've left mine open a couple times. But this fantastic fan is also controlled down through here, which gets rid of another control panel that you need to have to control that. And this can be set to open up and turn on if it gets too warm inside the coach, uh, so it'll start to try to cool it off. The other thing is the awning control outside is also built into here. All of your lighting controls, so you don't have a bunch of light switches everywhere, are all built into here. Lighting banks, dimmable lights, all on the touch panel. The other thing that you can get as a part of the 2018 models is automatic generator start. And what that is, is Pleasureway's answer to volt start. So let's say that you have pets and they need to stay in the van while you're gone and it's gonna it's a hot day well you can tell through the touch panel automatic generator start to set a certain temperature inside the van and when it reaches that temperature while you're gone the van will automatically start the generator and then run the air conditioner and cool off the inside of the van and when it's done it'll shut the air conditioner off and shut the generator off that's really useful and really cool and what makes it even better on the lexor is the generator on the Lexor is gas. It's not propane like it is on my Ascent. This ProMaster has a 20-some gallon gas tank, much, much larger. And so that air conditioner is going to be able to run a lot longer from the generator in the Lexor because it's pulling gas from the main gas tank. Plus, it's just that much easier for you to go and fill up the gas tank when you get low than it is for me to have to go look for a propane station. So automatic generator start makes a lot of sense in the Lexor because of its gas generator. And I think a lot of people are gonna find that really useful and advantageous for them if they've got pets and they're going to be RVing in warmer weather. Now you also have this touch panel in the back. We've talked about the touch panel. It's exactly the same as the touch panel in the front. That's the advantage you get from multiplex wiring. And you know what, in a van this size, it's great to have two control centers, not just one, two control centers. So if you're back here, you can control every single thing, the awning, everything from back here, just like you could from the front. So that's a really, really nice thing. Much more expensive coaches than this. Much more, I mean, I'm talking tens of thousands of dollars more, do not have touch panels like that in them, the convenience center like that in them. So. That is something that's really special and I think uh, adds tremendous value to this Lexor FL. As you can see inside the cab, I really like the cab setup of the ProMaster. It's very automotive looking. You sit up really high. The nose is really very sloped down so you get a very good wide angle view of everything in front of you. The seats, are super comfortable and I can see from here that they have the thorax airbags in the seat as well so that's really nice. The one thing that the Lexor has over the Ascent is those mirrors on the side they are powered so they'll fold in automatically. I have to manually do that on my Ascent but these are powered so they'll just fold in and the lower parabolic mirrors are also powered so on the Ascent I have to manually move those around to get the parabolic mirrors to look right but here on the Lexor they are powered which is really super nice. One thing that I wish they didn't have on the Lexor is right above you here it's this it's at least padded but uh, I've already hit my head on it going in and out of the cab. I had another van that had a storage area like this above the cab and I vowed I would never get another van that wasn't open like it is on the Ascent uh, because I was always hitting my head on it. But it does give you additional storage up here and you can put some of the brand new, by the way, uh, magnetic screen covers, uh, window covers that they have for the new 2018 models. They can be stored up there. That's also a standard feature, by the way. Pleasureway vans are amongst the highest quality, best build in the industry. And the fact that you can get this van 
which is just a little bit over 20 feet. It comes at 20 feet 11 inches, <clears throat> which means that you can still park it in a standard parking spot. It's a little more tight than my Ascent, but you can get this quality, this van, with this incredible layout and the front lounge for an asking price of $110,000 is really mind-blowing. It's an incredible value and an incredible van, and these FLs are very hard to find. You still get all the same things, high-end components and options that you would expect on a pleasure way. So for instance, this has got to be one of the greatest screen doors ever. You get some screen doors of those sliding ones, but let me tell you something about those. Those mechanical things, they break, you get dirt and grit and stuff down in the railings down there, the guide rails, and, the, and it's, you, you know this from at home. It happens even worse on an RV because you're out and about in nature uh, and they rattle. This thing has none of that problem, none of those problems. It rolls up out of the way when you don't need it. When you do need it, you just unstrap it down, zip it down. It magnetically closes every time, every time you go through it. It doesn't rattle, it doesn't squeak. It's a fantastic screen and it comes standard on every Pleasure, pleasure Way model on the Luxors. And it's got the high end Truma AquaGo. Now you all know the Truma AquaGo is an instant hot water heater, but what makes it superb is the fact that it had, this is the Comfort Plus that they put in standard on, on the Lexor. And the Comfort Plus is plumbed, all the hot water lines are plumbed so that it'll recirculate the hot water through those lines. So as soon as you turn on the tap for hot water, you get hot water coming out. There's no cold water sitting in the hot water lines. So that's a high-end component. They use the Comfort Plus, which is the high-end, high-end of the component, and it's standard on the Lexor. This is a really spectacular van, and the Lexor was very high on my list. I was almost going to choose this over the Ascent. The only reason why I didn't choose the Lexor over the Ascent, frankly, were because of the safety features. The Ascent has lane keep assist, blind spot assist, crosswind assist, collision detection. It just had some features that I felt more comfortable with and I wanted to have those with me since I have a little girl and a family and we use it. So I opted for the Ascent, but this Lexor really gave the Ascent a run for its money. And, and let me tell you something, if they would have had the FL, the front lounge version of the Lexor, at this price, I would be doing all of my videos out of the Lexor instead of the Ascent. We'd be in the Lexor, the Studio Lexor instead of the Studio Ascent. That's how much I like this layout. I think it's just a phenomenal layout. It, it's such a great use of space. I, I think it's fantastic. Now, my final recommendation to you is this. The FL is ideally set up for a couple because it has a a larger bed in the back than I have in the Ascent. It is four inches longer, I believe, and about three inches wider. So it's significantly larger, the bed in the back. And if you're a couple, especially if one of you is taller, that's going to make a big difference. Now, if you have a family, you could still get the FL, but there's no other place for, for instance, your children to sleep. So it is ideally set up for the couple. So in that sense, it's more akin to the Travato 59K. The 59K was built by Winnebago for a couple as well. And since it has two large twin beds parallel, bench seats in the back. But the real difference is the front lounge on the Lexor FL adds that second living space. When you combine that with the fact that you're getting the pleasure away quality on the Lexor, it's all the same quality that you're going to find on their most expensive, their $160,000 Plateau XLTS or XLMB. It has the same handcrafted cabinetry, solid wood cabinetry that is screwed together with L brackets. It's not <clears throat> stick framing with staples holding the cabinets together. You have all the high-end components like the Truma AquaGo and the color touchscreen and multiplex wiring. All the same things that you would get on a much more expensive van from Pleasure Way, you're getting in the very affordable Lexor FL. Now, the advertised price that we saw, and I'm not saying you'll be able to get that price, but we did see at this dealer that their advertised price was 109000 
you're likely going to be able to get that particular FL from that dealer for around $100,000. At $100,000, it's within striking distance of the Winnebago Paseo. It's within $15,000, $20,000 of what you're probably going to be able to get the Paseo. So, but you're going to get something that is so much better built, so much higher quality, and it's going to last so much longer. So if you're in the market, you're a couple, and maybe you're thinking about uh, something that is less expensive, I would highly recommend that you think about saving up a little bit more to get the Lexor FL because you're going to get much more van for your dollar. You're going to get a five-year warranty versus a one-year warranty on some other models, and it's just going to last longer and you're going to be much happier with it. So thumbs up to Pleasure Way on the 2018 Lexor FL. It is a really, really nice van. I'm jealous. I, I said jokingly when I was doing the tour on the inside that I might have to think about trading in my Ascent for the FL, but I kind of meant it. I I was really already on the fence when I bought this one, this Ascent TS compared to the Lexor TS, but when I saw the FL, I was just blown away with that front lounge and that beautiful bathroom. So the 2018 Pleasure Way Lexor FL definitely gets a thumbs up from me. Well, I hope you enjoyed today's review of the 2018 Pleasure Way Lexor FL. If you did, I'd really appreciate you hitting the like button. And if you haven't done so already, please consider subscribing. It's super easy. Just hit the subscribe button and click the little bell so you can be notified when new reviews like this come out. We'll see you again next week. Take care. Bye-bye.